Hello YouTube Universe, welcome back to another Unboxing with Brad, and today we're going to be opening the intro pack Price of Glory, a great intro product for new players that uh, allows them to build their own starter deck that you can get as early as the pre-release. Now, the Price of Glory isn't that steep for this deck because of Resolute Archangel, a very powerful angel that allows you to gain all the life you've lost throughout the game, but please join me while we look at all the other cards that aren't really powerful angels. All right, as we open this intro pack, uh-oh, it's coming with. Oh, oh no, I ripped it. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's the deck, and now with each intro uh, pack, you get two booster packs to go along with uh, the deck itself. And each box comes with uh, Hunt the Biggest Game, huge, huge kind of poster. It's not really a poster, but it's kind of a poster. And inside of it, you get uh, a deck list of all the decks. So if you get uh, a Price of Glory, for example, but you think you would like one of the other ones, you can get that one as well. Or maybe your brother, sister, cousin uh, likes this deck more, you can just go and trade or look through the deck list. Now, that's just a great way to know all the different products. So uh, let's just get rid of this and actually look through Price of Glory. All right. So starting off, we have Resident Archangel and Mass Calcify. These are going to be our late game win conditions. Not only does Mass Calcify destroy all other colored creatures, but it keeps all the white ones around. Oh, wow. We, we, we can already tell a theme, right? So Resident Archangel resets your life total, but if you had a lower life total, that technically counts as life gain. So that's going to trigger our Johnny Pride Mates, along with these Soul Menders. So uh, this is probably one of the most powerful starts you can make, is just turn one Soul Mender, Turn two, Ajani's Pride Mate. Gain a life, untap, gain a life. Now it's a 4-4. Four, four. So right when it attacks on turn three, it's a 4-4. Four, four. This is a very powerful start for limited. Um, but uh, we keep going. We have some Sun Grace Pegasus. That's also going to gain us some life. Some walls, some Children of Light, uh, Children of Night, even Wall of Limbs. I think we see a trend of ruin here. And this deck is all about gaining life and abusing it. Uh, which is a great theme of M15 because Wall of Limbs can constantly get more counters uh, throughout the game because of all of our life gain, and then we can just throw it at them uh, for seven mana, which is a pretty powerful effect. Not as good as these uh, Witches Familiars, though, right? Because who doesn't like a big old three-drop frog? Ribbit. <laughs> Geist of the Moors, uh, really powerful uh, flyer along with the Cursed Spirit. So we have some evasion if our life gain isn't really getting the job done. A Tyler's Missionaries that uh, should is a little tired because this card isn't that great to be honest. Um, <clears throat> oh, here here we go. When we pay all that life, we're going to be able to, uh, or when we gain all of it, we're going to be able to pay it to give this guy flying. So that's a good use of all the life that we're gaining along with a Blood Host, which seems like a very powerful card that also gains us life. No tokens in the deck though, so this ability isn't that great. So uh, I think there's going to be some tokens back here, though. So now that we get to the spells. Now, our deck is all about like, gaining life and abusing that. So because of that, we have a lot of ways that, uh, that use that life uh, gain by using Ulcerate, a good removal spell that costs us life, along with Sign and Blood that's going to give us card advantage. Now, Sign and Blood it is, in my opinion, the best card in the set. I think that this card is absolutely broken good. Something that Wizards might not have even should have reprinted because when it came out last time, it was in a format that didn't cater to it. But right now, Standard, Mono Black is a very good deck already, and I think that is just very abusable. This card is just powerful. Just think about it. If you're on the play and you play this on turn two, you're already up a card before your opponent has two lands in play. You already have the advantage of getting that extra card that people on the draw get. So Sign of Blood is an extremely powerful card that, uh, that is going to go great in our deck. Uh, along with two staffs. Here we find our first white staff. It's finally showing up um, to help us gain some life throughout the game and trigger all of our guys. And these are really powerful ones for our trigger guys, our Wall of Limbs and Ajani's Primates, because every land, if we have both in play, every land and every spell is going to at least gain us a life. So it's going to constantly go up. A good removal spell, another life gain, and first response. Now, first response is a great card that uh, when we pay life, we get tokens. Now, we don't have a ton of ways to constantly pay life. Like, we have one one shots like these spells. Um, and even in here, uh, if I do remember, no, there's nothing that, oh yeah, we can pay two life to get, to get here too. And that's what we're looking for. So now we have two packs, and we're going to want ways to make first response better. Along with more Johnny's Pride Mates, Walls of Limbs, Life Gain, 
We have a theme going and we want to constantly do that. Also just creature removal is good too. So Razor Foot Griffin, even though it's a flyer with two power, it's not what our deck wants. So it's not something that's going to make our deck better. Now, Ephemeral Shields, or uh, Ephemeral Shields, wow, I butchered that name, uh, <laughs> is a great card for Johnny's Primates and our Wall of Limbs because they're getting bigger, they're going to be the primary target of removal spells, and we can just make the creatures indestructible. So that card's going to make our deck. Another Sign of Blood, that's perfect. A Typhoid Rats isn't that bad, but I don't think our deck really wants it. We don't want to kill all our guys. And Chief Man. We are opening so many Chief Engineers. I don't know why and where our artifacts are, but that is so many Chief Engineers. All right, let's open something awesome for our deck in this pack. All right, Kiliad's Pilgrim. Now let's look through our deck. Now this is a card that's only as good as the enchant enchantments we have. Now we have a Crippling Blight and a Divine Favor. Now if we open another Divine Favor, I think we want to play this. But these aren't, these might be enough targets, but I'm pretty sure it won't be. Another Child of the Night, a Mine Rod if we want to make him discard. That's a good sideboard option. A land that gains you life. Now, this is part of our theme, right? We want to gain life, and that triggers all of our stuff. But there's a big cost when it comes to colorless lands. Now, this doesn't tap for black or white. And our deck has double black spells in Sign of Blood and a couple other really tough spells like one drop white creatures and double black spells. And this is a good lesson to learn. It's better to have a good mana base than to have lands that have abilities. Now, if we were a monocolor deck, I would play this card, but I will not play this card due to the restraints of playing Sign and Blood and white creatures. Another Blood Host, and another White Staff, and a Land of War Waste. No, why wasn't it a Cave of Koilos? Uh, but if we want to play the first response, I do think we play this. Now, this is just going to cost us damage, but at the same time, it's going to... Um, not only tap for black, so it's a bad swamp, but with a first response, we can, every time we tap this and paint ourselves, we're able to uh, trigger our first response to give us a soldier. So even though this is uh, an inferior swamp in this deck specifically, it still has a good reason to be played because of our first response. So this is a small combo that I think is worth playing, since the only ways that we have to lose life are two ulcerates and four sign and bloods. Uh, or we can just cut this and just make more of a theme deck. So now that we have that, we can cut some of the other things going on in the deck um, to make room uh, for these really powerful spells. But uh, yeah, I think I think our deck could have gotten better with our two packs, but it didn't. It, it was it was some good decent stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you did, please comment and like our page as well as watch any of our other videos. Anyway, have a wonderful day and come back to watch us open more things with boxing, unboxing with Brad. I'll get it right one of these days.